Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show and we have a show of all shows. We actually end up catching 63 pike in 21 smallmouth. You know what, when you talk about like an incredible day, this is one of them days and one of them shows that you have to watch. Now I'm gonna warn you guys, we are no doubt gonna block out any of the background and I'm gonna tell you why. You know what, either being a fishing guide or a TV host, there's a lot of responsibility. And this is one of them spots that I do not wanna show thousands and thousands of people. Because you know what, I don't wanna see it destroyed. You know, there's some people that are gonna work hard and figure it out, and really that's what it's all about, figuring things out. You know what, this is something that I'm very passionate about preserving the resources and protecting the resources. And that's why some of these shots as far as the background are gonna be definitely blurred out. Hey, we definitely appreciate you guys coming along with us and you definitely wanna check out this week's show. So hold on to your heinies, here we go. What, what are you laughing at? Squirrel, oh you son of a no good chipmunk squirrel. Look what he did. I was wondering when he, he was messing with my line before. Oh, what a way to start the morning off. A bass? Well, I'll take the bass any day of the week. I love catching bass. Even though we're, oh, that's a nice fish. What is, are you kidding me? You guys, I'm not even tied up yet. Holy cats, everybody, I'll tell you what. We are incognito today. Look at this, two, what do you got there? Both giant smallmouth? Yeah. We haven't been out here more than five minutes. These guys made two or three casts. Squirrels got me all messed up here and they're catching fish. So what are you doing? Just basically, Chris, why don't you explain to, to everybody what we're doing here today? Yeah, so basically we're running twitch baits and uh, what we're doing is we're just uh, uh, casting them out, twitch, pause, Twitch, twitch, pause, and 90% uh, of the bites are coming right on the pause when you're on dead, and also boom, they're crushing it. So everybody knows we're actually out here fishing pike. Yeah, that's what our, our we're tar trying to target. Um, but you're catching everything fishing everything. pikes. Well, everything. Tell everybody about that. Yeah, we're catching a combination of everything. You're catching northerns, you're catching bass, you're catching walleyes, you're... and it's hard to believe like you can go through here with plastics and rip and wraps, and basically you might catch a few pike. Yep. But, and a few bass, but when you're using the twitch baits, it's amazing how many pike you catch, well, along with everything, everything else. else. So, a, definitely a totally different technique than most people are used to fishing out here. And boy, you got it dialed. I got to get my damn line tied up well, so I can what, start casting. I need some leader line now. What, what's Squirrel doing back here? He's got me all messed him. up. I can't believe all the smallmouth. We're supposed to be catching northerns. Look at the size of these smallmouth too. Hey, I'll tell you what, what a, a great way to come out and try something different and see how successful it really is. I mean, these twitch baits are just like on fire. Look, look Chris, squirrel. I'm, uh, I swear you energy. I did. Yeah? Oh, oh look at the like size of that big. freaking oh. bass. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely a oh giant. My God. Oh, That's Zach, a... look at the size of that one. We haven't gotten a pike in the boat yet, but I'll tell you, I'm not gonna sneeze about catching, you know, four to six pounds smallmo. Oh, oh, there he goes. There go. catch yeah. Easy catch and release. Another day. If it's my fish, squirrel, make sure you get the net, okay? Okay. What kind of bait is that one? The cotton Cordell, oh, Walmart, co dollar ninety-seven special. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, you know, I, now you can understand, folks, why they call him squirrel. He's got more tackle stored away in, in trees than you can shake a stick at. I'm in the game here. It's taking me 20 minutes to catch a fish. Oh, what do we I, got, what? We got a piker. Yeah, I got, and I'm, I got the, what we're fishing for. Look at the way his eyes, bul uh, eyes are bulged out. You know why? He sees a squirrel. We are up fishing for Northerns, and I'll tell you with our good friend Chris from Badgerland Tires, you guys are looking for some used or new tires make sure you give Chris a call he's got three locations and he's got his buddy and my buddy the squirrel in the boat you know and the squirrel works for Reinhardt Foods and uh, he was actually working all night and uh, decided that uh, instead of going home and sleeping he'd let her jump in the boat with us and do a little bit of fishing which you know it's the squirrel is a good fisherman believe it or not 
but he is great entertainment. There's no doubt about that. So you guys are probably wondering, why are we not in a Warrior? Because I sold my 2121, absolutely incredible boat. I decided to change it up this year a little bit, and I've got a 208 coming, and uh, looking forward to that, powered by a Mercury. Um, but I'm more excited about being having the opportunity to come out here and learn something different. And Chris has been telling me about the fantastic pipe bite that he has been on for the last three weeks, and basically with twitch baits, and the cool part again, you know, as you've seen already, is that basically he's catching everything. Hey, I'll tell you what, we want to thank Chris again for letting us come along today and uh, providing us a boat to fish out of. I will have my boat next week, my 208, really pumped up about that. But right now, let's catch some dang fish. So hang on to your hainies. Look at, oh, 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 that's a tanker. See, now that gets me excited right there. I mean, that is absolutely a tank. Look at the girth on these fish too. You know, I don't know why so many people don't like catching pike because they're great fighters. And uh, you know, if you want to keep a couple to eat, I honestly say that they are better eaten than a walleye. Do you hear what Squirrel did? He left the fish go with the spreaders in his mouth. Yep. Think about walking around like that. You know who you would, you know what it reminds me of? Shotgun Schaefer. It's the only guy I know that I think has got his spreaders in his mouth all the time. So if anybody knows what type of bug that is, please uh, email us at LarrySmithOutdoors at gmail.com. Make sure a couple things when you're pike fishing, you really for sure must have. You want to make sure you've got a good pliers. So make sure you got a mouth spreaders, you know. And if they have it really bad in there, you want to make sure you got a cutter so you can at least cut them hooks off because they will deteriorate in the water. So I'm going to let this guy go just because he wasn't hooked right. You got that uh, spreaders handy over there? Uh, no, uh, it, it's in the drink. Squirrel's got a, a steel leader on, but Chris and I are using 25 pound test fluorocarbon. Now that's a stocky fish. Look at the size and show where that bait is at. Inhaled. And you'll see he's got a real long handled pliers and that's why right there. And watch, he's going in from underneath you guys. And the limit is five pike, which I don't agree with at all. I think it should be a two fish limit. Just like anything, you don't want to be greedy on things. This one here would be a prime eater. And we are going to keep a couple because we're going to show everybody how to clean them. Nice. Oh, okay. <sighs> Got the old mags rod bent right over. Holy man. Oh, look at that. You know, it's cool to see that these fish are so healthy here too. Look at that reel. Just... Oh. oh, he's got that bait to swallow. Oh my, look at that. Look at the head on that fish. Holy man. Hey, I'll tell you what, people go all the way up to Canada to fish big pike. It's amazing when you think about Wisconsin, Minnesota, all the great lakes that we have and all the great fishing we have. You know what, we have some pretty darn good fishing right here in our backyards. You know, it's basically all about fish and structure, everybody. And uh, you know, it seems like that three to six feet of water is prime area. That might be a bass, huh? I thought I heard it jumping. I left one for squirrel. Yeah, yeah. oh, a squirrel. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna cast out there, squirrel. Maybe we'll get a, a triple. Yeah, Piker, good easy right there. Good job, squirrel. Squirrel, boy, he he stopped that rod dead. Holy man. Squirrel, that was right in front of me. Boy, you got a lot of audacity. Look at the swirl on that fish. Look at the swirl from the squirrel. If he catches another one, I'm about to hurl. When you think about that, the, how stocky these fish are, it's incredible. And I was watching when he was jerk, jerk, jerking that rod and uh, twitch, twitch, twitch. That thing absolutely stopped that rod solid. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Get my, oh my Holy cats, you guys, this is absolutely crazy. Holy man, look at this. Wow. Oh, look at that. That pike has been through a battle. Giant smallmouth, giant pike. This is, I don't even know what to say anymore. Let's keep fishing. Holy yep. man. 
definitely today, I am the student, no doubt. Chris is the teacher, squirrel is the substitute teacher. This fish has definitely been caught before. Look at, just got his whole side ripped up like that. Probably somebody trolling or something caught that one like that to rip up his mouth like that, but that'll all heal too. And obviously he's, still looks pretty good. Oh, that, see, that's the whole thing. I slowed it way down. You know, I'm just watching what Chris was doing and it's amazing how to get that cadence just right, you know, makes such a difference between like, Chris has probably got 15, 20 fish himself already. And this is, I think my fifth one. For once in my life, I might get, instead of D pluses and D minuses, I might actually get a C this week. Oh, big bass, look at that. Holy man. Hey, no doubt that I might definitely get a C plus, C plus on my record card from Chris because uh, I've made six casts now and oh, look at the size. This bass is probably 22 inches. I'm gonna measure this one up. Holy man, 20, about 20 and three quarter. Hey, Shotgun in the Kitchen Aid at Leroy Lunch. Today we have mango, habanero, bratwurst. We have Greek salad they made us. I got a party to go to. I was talking to Larry and we got to do some more stuff with the brat. So they made me a Greek salad. I'm going to put these on a big green egg, chop them up real fine, mix them in the salad, take them to a party, you guys. All you got to do is call them. They make salads and stuff there too. I'm going with the sweet and the hot. Plus I have the vinegar in here for the Greek seasoning salad. I'm going to cut it on a bias like this. Got a party to go to. I was talking to Randy at Leroy Meats. We're doing some different segments like this. Uh, stop in there, talk to them. The salads are there. So I say this one is, it takes longer to fire to grill up than it does to make this full recipe right here. So once again, you got sweet, the vinegar, good summer salad right there. Shotgun in the kitchen, Leroy lunchtime, mango habanero, Greek salad. This is like insane. Players? Well, I don't know where the spreaders are. We only have one set. We only have one set. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't drop it in, squirrel. Oh, just come right back. Oh, and Chris, hey, that, oh, that's not. Oh, 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 oh. Literally, this is like this is like going to Canada. Chris has got one on in the front. Squirrel just let one go. Oh my gosh. Oh, another big smallmouth. Look at, not quite as big as my last one, but. Still a nice fish. I don't even know, you know, you could say a lot, but I don't even know if it pays to say a lot because this is definitely, it's crazy. You know, it's pike after pike, bass after bass, and it goes little streaks too, and all of a sudden, you know, we'll get to a spot and there'll be some, some weeds in there, and it's just, it seems to be the key. Oh, 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 oh my. Look at the size of that, and I got, I got a, I got one on here too. It's just like, I don't even, like I said, this is like, oh my. This is some of the best fishing that I have seen in a long time. Look at that rod bent right over. Wow, look at, oh, look at that pike. And it's got it all the way in its mouth. Oh, this is absolutely, this is absolutely a giant. This is definitely in that 40 inch range right there. If not, if it's not 40, it's awful close. Look at the girth on that. When you start thinking about pike like this, and squirrel's got a big one on too, this is just like absolutely insane, insane fishing today. Look at this one right here. Oh, this is absolutely as crazy as it gets. Wow, look at the size, there she goes. And look at this one right here. No, not quite as big, but it's still a 30, 30, 30 Chris is hooked up, All right, this is still a 30, 32 incher right here, look at that, holy man, that is great, huh? two by twos, and Chris has got one on too, oh, 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 you ain't gonna believe it, oh, Oh no, oh, it's right here, we can get it. Hey, I'll tell you what, I dropped the spreader, it's the most important tool. Now he just took my grade down from a C plus down to a F. Save my hiney, hiney, hiney. Finally, finally, the first time in my life I've had my, Chris is the teacher today, I finally got my grade up to a C plus 
Well, he's saying the C That's minus, the but best catch of the day. C yep. plus, and then I drop the spreader. It's the only the most important tool that we need today. Woo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just never gets old, does it? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. A little bit of a pause is, is really getting these fish to react to that bait for sure. And you know what we're using basically? We're using 10 pound test super braid, and then we're using a 25 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Squirrel has got a steel leader on, and that doesn't really seem to be bothering these fish no. either, which is unusual because we yeah. are in pretty clear water. And we're working anywhere from about three to about seven and a half feet. Yeah. Seems to be pretty common as far as the depths. You know, no doubt when the sun peaks out, this seems like the fish get a little bit more active too. It seems like these fish are like everywhere where you can find any type of weed. It's running a Palomar, so basically a real simple knot. Go through, go through again. Okay, got your two ends like this, okay. Real simple, just tie it into a knot, hold the loop, okay. And then just what, all you do is just run your bait back through the loop. Definitely probably one of the strongest knots that Palomar. Holy man, I'll tell you what you guys, this is like absolutely one of them days that it's gonna be almost impossible to repeat. There's a 40 inch pike right here. There's a 20 inch smallmouth. How often does that happen? <laughs> oh, talk about like absolutely epic fishing today. There's no doubt that the stars are lined up. Check out the size of this smallmouth. I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna grab Chris's monster bike. I don't even know. That fish is way over 40 inches right there. Yeah. Absolutely incredible, epic day. Uh, what are we up to? What number is this for pike? Uh, 41. 41 pike and how many smallmouth? Uh, 13. Yeah, that's just absolutely crazy. We've had so many doubles, couple triples already today. But the most important thing is, man, you gotta protect these fisheries. There's no doubt about that. There's no reason to keep these big fish whatsoever. Nope. Let's let her, let's get her back in. Look at the head on her. Oh, that is a take. She gone. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. I've never had a day like this, I can tell you, where we've caught this many pike. I've caught a lot of smallmouth, but the pike has just been absolutely phenomenal. Every one of these smallmouth are definitely tanks. I mean, the smallest one I think we saw so far today has been about 18 inches. Most of them have been in that 19, 21 and a half has been the largest so far. And again, we're basically out here trying to target more pike than anything, but these smallmouth are laying in the same type of structure. A guy gets about maybe maybe 10 of these days in his life that the fishing is like this. Look at this right here. You guys, look at the size of that pike. I'm gonna let this guy go. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't understand is that, you know what? Not all fish are gonna be, uh, not all pike are gonna be the grow to be 20, yep. 25 pounds. They gotta have the right. genetics. And you can look at that pike and say, there's a yeah, really good well, chance that fish is gonna, has the opportunity to, to be an absolutely giant someday. I think this is number 51 or 52. Just using these twitch baits, you know, these really makes a difference. Craziness, absolutely craziness today. I am slime from head to toe. That is something, again, the build on these fish, just the way they absolutely smash these baits is absolutely the funnest, you know? And that's really what I love. I, you know, I love the hands-on type of fishing more than the trolling, uh, just because you get to feel that that fish absolutely crack that bait. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, Chris, you've got a great tip of the week and it definitely has made a huge difference today, especially working these twitch baits because we're working them so slow. Let's tell everybody about it. Well, what we're doing is we're using the wind in this drift sock, and uh, this drift sock is making it real easy for us to control the boat and work these edges real slow here 
and uh, it's helping us put a lot of fish in the boat on these windy days like this. Otherwise, folks, you'd be moving way too fast, and we're we're moving about 0.8 right now, which is absolutely perfect for the baits that we're using. Again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest turkey on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, we're gonna show you real quick how easy it is to clean these northern pike. I cut them basically like you would a, a walleye or a bass, but it's, it goes real simple. Go around the fins, right? Yep. yep, cut right through the back here, and then I follow that, and then you can kind of follow the rib cage here, and the backbone, cut right down to the rib cage, go over to the top of it, and you just hold the flay down, and you don't want to try to cut right down to the it's not skin. real tight. Yep. yep, stay off the skin a little bit, and uh, then you won't have all that red meat on there. Like I said, I personally think that pike are a little bit better than walleyes just because they're a little bit sweeter, but yep. no bones, you can feel it. And basically, again, Chris does the same thing I do, is that each time we keep some pike, we keep a separate bag in the freezer and until we get yep. enough to pickle and, and you're not yep. wasting any meat at all. Yep. Because what happens when you pickle this, that the, the Y bones in here will actually dissolve. Hey, every week we always want to thank all the hardworking people in this country. That's what it takes to keep everybody fed, everybody safe, and no doubt, as of today, we are still living in the greatest country in the world. And remember, it's always a great day to be alive, and we'll see you next week. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> wow! All right, I'll get your spreader. <laughs> I think he was going to spread you. I do not know, but they are pretty... Ooh! <laughs> Did he bite you? No. Chris, remember, what, what, what about the gas station thing? What'd I pick up? Uh, 12-pack bush light? No! Wrong! <laughs> God, remember the lucky penny? Oh, lucky penny. Oh, lucky I, penny. I, I, that I, was I, it. I,